Hey everybody, it's Cole Powell from Core Performance here to show you how to run your Ice Plate Exo second generation with the side straps instead of your Molly Cummerbund. So first we're gonna take our Ice Plate Exo Gen 2, it's nice and new. And we're gonna start setting up our sizzle sticks with the side straps. So you're gonna want about a foot of shock cord, tie a knot into one end, and start lacing it through the sizzle stick. And then we're gonna to need to define which one's gonna be our right sizzle stick and which one's gonna be our left. So this one will be our right. Then we're going to lace through our small loop of the side strap. Make sure the tab from the tail of this uh, side strap is gonna be pointed towards your body so it's hidden, it's not gonna see it. Pass the shock cord through. And then lace your sizzle stick up normally. And then we're just gonna tie a knot on the end to secure it. Simple little overhand knot. Okay, our right side is done. Now we'll do the same thing for the left. Again, just have a knot tied in your little piece of shock cord. Pass it through the back. You'll know it's the back because it's where all of our branding is. Put on our other side strap through that little loop again. This shows how easy this is to set up. I'm doing it all on camera, no rehearsal. Just getting it. All right, now we're going to put it inside our plate bag. The side straps are thin enough to fit through the lateral apertures in your ice plate, Exo. So pass it through that bottom hole. We're basically setting up this exactly like we would set up Ice Plate Exo CRH, but this time we have two plate bags. Pass that one through as well. And now let's move on to the front of Exo. So in the package, you'll get two of these little female side release buckles with little split bars on so you can attach them to things. We're gonna put those on the bottom loops of your Molly placard. These are a little tricky, but you can get the hang of it. There's one, two. Here's a little pro tip. When you're putting these together, start the loop on the longer side of the split bar. It makes it a lot easier to get in. Bend that out of the way. Then those are installed. Now we just need armor. Now we'll put in our armor plates. Start with the front bag. Get that bottom closure, like so. The same on the rear plate bag. Make sure those sizzle sticks are to the side so the armor plate fits in all nice and snug, like so. The plate bag tension, and then there we go. To put it on, you'll just put it on like regular plate care, and then just clip in your side buckles. And now you're ready to go. If you like what you saw here today, make sure to leave us a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below, or you can live chat us on our website, send us an email, or you can even call us on the phone. We'll pick up, take care of you. All right, until next time, stay frosty.